so guys today i'm going to show you how you check the quality of your automatic transmission fluid so maybe your car has been jacking your car has been sluggish sluggish acceleration so i'm going to show you how you check the quality of your automatic transmission fluid to make sure that it is in perfect condition so the first test that you do you remove the dipstick from the gearbox the gearbox is situated right here below the air filter compartment this is the air filter compartment so you remove that dipstick it is the, i will show you how you remove that dipstick you remove the dipstick then you smell the atf when you smell the atf you know how if if the clutches in the gearbox have burnt out you will feel another smell i will show you i will explain the smell when i remove the dipstick and then you check based on the color of your atf so i have serviettes right here I have two serviettes, white serviettes, so I, I will check the color of my ATF to see if it has burnt out or it has not burnt out. Basically, you should change your ATF after every 100,000 km. It is not changed frequently like the engine oil, so we are going to do those two tests to see the quality of our automatic transmission fluid. So let's get into it right away. So the next step that I'm going to do to access the dipstick in the air the dipstick for the gearbox i'm going to remove this air filter compartment so the first step that you do is that you disconnect the negative terminal of the battery to prevent any short circuit that may occur so i'm going to remove it i'm going to remove this this negative terminal and then this is the mass airflow i disconnect the mass airflow sensor right there and then these are two bolts this is the Cold air intake. So uh, my intention is to to get to the gearbox dipstick so that I can access the dipstick and remove it to see the quality of my automatic transmission fluid. So this is a Mazda. Different models, different locations. So I'm just using this as an example. Not all cars. Use this method. So this is a positive crankcase ventilation. I have removed it. This is a air filter. So this is our dipstick for the gearbox. Hope you can see it. This is our dipstick for the gearbox. This small thing right here. It's our dipstick. So I'm going to open it. Then this is a gearbox socket. The TCM socket. This is a shifter. This is a shifter. When you shift the gears, this is the one. This is the wire that pulls the, the gears in here. This is the one that engages the PCM socket at the dipstick. So let me remove the dipstick to see the quality of our transmission fluid so this is it you can see it and I'm going to pull it out you can see you can see this is a dipstick it has been written several writings right here I will explain later you can see this is our gearbox dipstick and you can see the color of our ATF you can see it dripping so i'm going to explain how we first of all the first check that i've shown you how we should do is to smell the dipstick the reason why i'm smelling the atf has a it has a significant strong smell you will not fail to recognize the smell of an atf so when you smell it you will hear inanuka kama atf utasikia inanuka kama atf but when the atf has burnt out eh? Basically, for, uh, for an automatic gearbox, eh, it uses 
it has a pair of clutches so it have c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 up to c6 c6 is the minimum the older cars had four three to four clutches and five but these new cars m mostly they have from six speed to nine speed or from six speed to ten speed up to ten speed so so it has if it's six speed that means it have it has c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 all the way to six so what i'm we are going to see if the crutches the 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 crutches i had a is it the crutches let me use this for examples you see those crutches the c1 the c1 has a pair of crutches it has a clutch plate and uh the friction material crutch plate friction material so when the friction material wears out eh? when the friction materials it wear out so ndio in a ile ya roof inanuka kama it's like crutch you see a burnt out crutch the way it smells when that friction material wears out eh? it smells like that so it will make the whole atf inuka kama hivyo zile clutch ziki burn out eh? kuna kuna hiyo clutch ki burn out kuna ile kitu inaitwa bad breaker yani yenye inashikilia hivi clutches it's known as bad, bad breaker bad breaker that holds the clutches like this to lock them so it has a friction material when that friction material wears out eh? the atf will smell exactly like it is burnt out like clutch yenye imechomeka ushaifuata roli unasikia eh hey, unasikia watu akisema huyo amechoma clutch Jue ya arufu yenye mnasikia clutch kichomeka ile friction material ikichomeka kuna nuka kuna nuka hivyo so hii ATF zile clutches zikichomeka ama ile bad breaker bad bad break inaitwa bad break ni kama kaband kaband kakuweka hapa kwa mkono hiyo bad ndio hulock clutches hizi clutches zenye nimewachapia acha acha niwachorea hapo hizi <coughs> clutches in automatic transmission for example we have a, they use a planetary gears they use planetary gears so in planetary gears we have the sun gear the sun gear is here so for, u, using for example i'm using this eh, to say me hii ni pea moja ya clutch yenye ina iko kwa automatic transmission so this is eh, hii ni sun gear alafu hapa kuna watu wengine tunaitanga watu planetary gears hizi ndio zina zinaitwa planetary gears let me I want to show you how automatic transmissions how they work before I go on so that you can know when it's burnt out. And then easy, easy zina zinashika nini nyingine. Zinashika gear nyingine side ya juu. So it's like this. And then so this is a this is a, the, the 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 inside one is the sun gear. These are the planetary gears. This one's for at this one yenye iko juu yake it's the ring gear. So nje ya ring gear kuna kuna tu vitu zina ziko hivi. They are like grooves. Ziko hivi. And then kuna clutch pack yenye imepitia hapa juu. Hiyo clutch pack hiyo clutch pack ndio inashikwa na bad breaker. Bad break inaitwa ngo bad break. Ni kama ka bad hivi kama shikiliwa on on one side kama shikiliwa na kama kama boltiwa kwa housing ya gearbox and then on the other side eh, kuna piston yenye inaskumwa na ATF ikiskumwa inakaza hizi clutches inazikaza zina lock ikiskumwa na ATF inaikaza ina lock hiyo ngia inaingia iki ziki lock hizo clutches ziki lock hiyo gear inaingia <laughs> eh, and then when the ATF ikiondolewa hapo hii bad hii bad break inalegea so hiyo hizo clutches zina unlock so zile ile bad ile bad yenye ina, ina lock hivi clutches ikiisha so ndio utapata gears zimeanza ku slip alafu tena ATF imeanza kunukia imeanza kunukia kama clutch yenye imeisha kwa nini juu hii friction material yenye iko hapa kwa bad kwa bad break imeisha so utapata hii clutches nimewashow zina lockiwa na hiyo kuna a pair of clutches vile nimewacha pia kuna clutch plate friction material clutch plate zote ziko hapa juu alafu hiyo bad break so hiyo ni C1 tuseme ni gear 1 si sitaki kusema gear 1 zinaitangwa clutch C1 hiyo C1 tuseme nime nime demonstrate na hii so zime ni mingi C1 C2 C3 so utapata ukilock 
ukilo C1 na C4 kuna venye hizi gears for example hii ni hapa katikati inakuanga output alafu utapata hizi zime zimeshikanishwa kwa yenye ni next tuseme hii ni C1 zimeshikanishwa kwa C2 so ukishika hii ya nje ukilo hizi za nje hii inasimamisha hizi za nje haka kako hapo ndani kana kana baki kakizunguka alafu ukishika ukishika ukizungusha ukishika ile yenye hapa hizi zenye mali zimeenda kushika ukishika hapo hii nje ndio inazunguka so zim alafu zinapewa namba hii ni 1 2 3 4 it's very complicated unless ni waonyeshe hivi ikiwa chini but inakuanga very complicated so that's how you know the smell smell hapo ndio inakujianga kwa hii friction material yenye iko hapa kwa bad break unanusia una unasikia kama inanuka ATF ama inanukia kitu class zimechomeka ndio maana unaonanga msia kikam garage ukimwangalia ATF the first thing that you do is the you smell the ATF you smell usikie where imefika wapi so the second test that you do is that you 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 check the color you check the color of your ATF so i'm going to to take a fresh serviette so I, i dip it in like this when i dip it in like this then i i wipe it like this so you should you should see not a not a very dark color in fact i should put it in a in a glass in a colorless glass so that you can see the its color when it's burnt out and its color when it's new so this it eh? although it's brown eh? it's in very good it's in good condition not not it's not new but it's not in bad condition you can see you can see this color you can see the way it's dripping you can see at it's dripping the tv is in very good condition so the gears cannot strip and i have smelt it like this so it's i know kama hii gear zenye kama bad break yenye imeisha friction material inanukia kama atf so the other thing that you that you check eh, is the ukiweka atf eh, tuseme you want to do a a, a gearbox service Mijari, gari ki change gear it should be seamless unafaa usikie eh hiyo gari ime change gear but but uko ja, uko ndani haija haija kutetemesha it change seamlessly seamlessly integrated they are nasikia anga akisema seamlessly integrated so it should be seamlessly integrated yani unasikia kusikia ime ime change gear ukiwa uko ndani but it should not shake you it should not even move you wifi ati ikishtuka clutch zikilok sasa inakushtua huko ndani so once you notice even the gari yako inakufanyia so probably hiyo bad brake yako imeisha yenye ina lock yenye ina lock ina lock hizi hizi clutches inaitwa bad brake ju hiyo ikiisha ndio sasa unapata gear zako zimeanza ku slip zina delay kuingia unaweka yani unasikia ni kama unaendesha ferry ni kagari ni kadogo lakini before gears inge ina ku take time ina delay sana the other thing that you should check that is for automatic transmissions so in manual transmissions <coughs> we have a we have another we have in in manual transmission we have been having an evolution of gearboxes we have been having the sliding mesh the the sliding mesh the synchro mesh the bulk ring so currently we are having the bulk ring the the sliding mesh ni ile yenye ni hizi ma, ma seven L za kitambo ma hizo ma engine ziko na hiyo sliding mesh yani zile ni gears tu zimepangwa tuseme gears zinakuanga zimepangwa hivi zinakuanga zime zimepangwa hivi so you can see let me assume these are my gears so when you are when ukitaka ku change gear kuna ile shift fork shift fork yenye unaonanga uki change ukiweka namba wa ni hivi kuna zile waya zinavuta hiyo gear hiyo inaitangwa hiyo kebo fulani hiyo inakuanga imekaa imeshikanishwa na kagia so una move gear so zile za kitambo hizo ma sliding mesh kuna sliding mesh g constant mesh so utapata hii kizunguka tuseme hii ni namba 3 na hii ni namba 2 unataka ziingiane so hakuna 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 avocado so you will get that uh, in sliding mesh gear boxes eh? So this is uh, I've said for example this is gear 3 this is gear gear 2 So hizo gears zikiingiana hakuna hakuna kitu iko pale katikati ya kusynchro ya kusync speed at ndio speed ya hii gear ziingiana na speed ya hii gear kwanza zimachin speed so unapata kwanza zinakam zina crash hapa hivi ndani 
ndio sasa zinaingiana zikishaingiana so uki, ukiweka gear kwanza una unajaribu ku match speed ndio maana unaona dereva wazima mama za kitambo akijaribu kukongesha ile gear lever anajaribu kuikongesha yani yaingi alafu unasikia sauti nyingine kubwa inatokea kwa gearbox hiyo nini ikijaribu kuingiana hizo gears zikijaribu kumesh alafu sasa kuna hapo ndio synchro mesh ikakaa alafu synchro mesh iko na iko na kitu inaitwa synchronizer iko na hiyo synchronizer synchronizer inakaa 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 funiko ya thermos sijui kama mnajua funiko ya thermos ama kale ka funiko ka wine kale ka ka, ka, ka wooden hivi it's a cone shape like this it's cone shape like this so when it's like this eh, tuseme hii ni gear 3 gear 3 imeshikanishwa hapa na gear 4 dio hii gear 4 juu hii kitu inaitwa synchronizer kwanza inakam inaingia kwa gear 3 In, ikiingia kwa gear 3 kwanza ina match speed unaona venye iki, ikiingia hapa katikati yake ni kama ikona ikona groove pale ikona ka groove so kwanza kanaingia hapo kana kana match speed ya hizi gear 2 so hizi gear 2 juu hii synchro, syn, synchronizer imeshikanishwa na gear 2 alafu hii synchronizer ina Uki, ukiweka gear the moment umevuta ile ile gear lever hivi unaisukuma hapa kwa kwa gear 3 so ziki match speed hivi ndio hii gear inakaa mikio ime slide too smooth zinaingiana juu ziko the same speed zinaingia zinaingiana smooth so <coughs> in manual in uh, in manual gear boxes we don't have juic 1 c2 we just have one clutch yenye iko pale katikati ya bell housing yake lakini automatic transmissions <coughs> If it's a six speed it has six clutches so that's how you check the condition of your ATF if you, if you check your condition of your ATF upate hapa ime ni, ni dark ni dark kabisa ufanye hivi na ATF ufanye hivi na survey tupate ni dark and you will know that your ATF needs to be changed so there are several ways when you have a damage gearbox yako you can damage your gearbox several ways you can you can misuse that gearbox by by tuseme ku kubebesha ku ku accelerate gari aggressively when it's at a load so when you accelerate aggressively at the vehicle is having a load eh, you put excessive pressure on the on the clutches so the clutches will wear out fast although it has been designed to to wear out like that eh, you see tayari gari iko na excessive load tuseme load yoyote excessive load mzigo excess and then you are misusing by unajaribu kufinya hiyo gari inaitangwa sikumbuki yako kajina but you are trying to misuse the car you are you are una, unazidi ku kuwea gearbox yako and in extremes in severe cases eh, itakuja kukujamia juu zile clutches zita zita fail kuingiana ile bad brake ita ita wear out at the gearbox gears will be slipping over each other So that is it on automatic gearboxes. So I was on automatic transmission fluids. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll show you the components of your of your automatic gearbox in detail. So that's how you do. You check the quality of your automatic transmission fluid. Thank you.